Well, this was the scene during the early morning hours of Friday, March 15th on Market Street in Boardman. Don L. Ford was on fire, its showroom in flames. Eight months after the fire, the rebuilding process at Donnell Ford continues. There are steel beams out front, which will eventually be the new showroom. Earlier this week, First News reporter Jacob Thompson stopped at Donnell to see how the work was progressing eight months after the fire. Rebuilding Donnell. It is new at 10. It was overwhelming. No, none of us have been through a fire. Steel beams sit out in front of Donnell Ford in Boardman, a site that was completely different over eight months ago. Flames shot out of the showroom floor. After the fire was poured out, Darnell Ford workers saved what they could. We started moving some of the stuff out we could save, and then we started getting set up in our extra showroom to get started to sell the next day. Everything else was thrown away. And then they tore down the walls that we had to build from the ground up. Due to safety reasons, we couldn't go inside, but from the outside you could still tell there's some work that needs to be done. Of course, we got the front still to do. We should be under roof here in about the next two weeks. The rest of the building is completely finished from uh, the sales office back to service. So service and parts and body shop are all up and running. A new look is planned for the new showroom floor. It's going to be the whole new Ford uh, stainless front with the big arch and uh, the Ford sign on, the, on it. Uh, brand new showroom. It's going to be up to Ford specs on the showroom. The amount of space they've had to work with has slimmed down, but Dodderman says they've been able to still run a full crew. We've got the same employees here when the fire happened until now. Thankfully, the Flynn family has made sure that everybody's been taken care of during the fire. Customers have been wonderful in taking care of all of us. And finally, we had to ask about the cat, Shelby, that was saved from the fire. Well, the cat is in, in great shape. Uh, she's actually staying with our office manager until our building's done. Dodderman says they hope to be completely finished with construction by the end of the holidays. In Boardman, Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 First News.